I was trying to film a set in a new gym and then this happened. Whoa, that's pink eye right there. Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video of the day for Man Guy. Gyms are still going bankrupt because men are still boycotting. Why? Because we still see women still doing the same thing that they're doing. They're ruining the gym. Please take a subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's that chow. It's chow time. I was doing <laughs> my sets today, and this guy kept looking over here. There's only us two in the gym at the moment. This one's a little outrageous. I don't even know if he's trolling. I can see him staring at me in my phone. I started to feel uncomfortable. What She's the one that keeps looking back at him. I decided to confront him. <laughs> he doesn't even know what's going on. <laughs> I'm never going to a public gym again. How many sets do you have left? Sorry? How many sets do you have left? Two. Okay. Literally one minute later. Women just fucking it up for everybody, man. All women. I pay for a membership here, and I've been waiting like the whole time I've been here. Uh, I mean, yeah. Like, I'm just, about to go to the front desk. Just give me like two, like two minutes, maybe. I, like, I just don't. I don't up. have a ton of time. I have kids at home. I just need to hop on this machine. And get it. No one cares, Karen. Everybody's here on their own time, doing their own thing too. They need to get their shit in because they might have shit to do too. Who gives a fuck about your kids? Done. Okay, whatever. <laughs> really? I don't think I can control myself. Really? Oh! Take a picture. It'll last longer. My bad. I, I wasn't looking at you. I was looking at the, the wall. No, oh, you can look at me. Wait, what? You think I come to the gym and look this cute for you not to stare at me? I can, I can take a picture? I mean, yeah, as long as it's a good angle. Okay. How's this? Oh my god, you look great. Okay, but take one more. If look. women just acted like this, <laughs> none of us would care. Go ahead, be at the gym. I come here. I'm glad you said that. I only come to the gym to look at girls. You think I didn't spend all morning getting ready? Yes. We could go back to my place and do some cardio, if you know what I mean. Yes. Mm. Yeah, wait, wait, what's your address? 346 City Girl Lane, come at 8 o'clock. Sounds good to me. Okay, I'll see you later. Just make sure you show your friends those pictures of how cute I look. I'll see you later. Story time on why me and my team got kicked out of our gym. So not much of a story time because I do have videos of both of the confrontations. The first one I'm going to show you guys right now. Do it. You out front. We turned it down for about 20 minutes. So I got to do it. Use off. I don't know where it is. Well, it's to the back the corner of the speaker. Okay. The back corner. Okay. What's the attitude? So as you can see, I was very thrown off by the unnecessary attitude I was just given. So whatever, we go into another room to go finish our workout. She comes out of this little room that she's doing whatever in, goes up to the owner and starts talking to him and asking him to tell us to keep it down. And that's when this happens. Yeah. We're not even playing the music. We're not allowed to talk? See, women ruining it for everybody else. You can ask us. You can ask us, right? It is just a question. Don't get an attitude with me, babe. Get out. Get out. All the Get out. Don't. What are you going to do? I'm going to get out. Really? Yeah. Don't. Get out. 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 I asked you a simple question. You didn't ask me anything, actually. What is your problem? You have to be here. You have to be here. Really? You have to pack up and go somewhere else. Go. You're done. I am making the decision for you. Go. I back Matt with everything. Get Jeez. out of my face. Don't follow me unless I'm about to actually do something. Go. Listen. Now. Fuck you up. Oh, really? Go. Yes. Get your shit and get out. 
out before Get out of my you. fucking face. Go. Or yeah. go. Yeah. Do you want to kiss? Take her and get right, out. Listen, why don't you walk over no. here? We'll walk over here. Then go and get her out of here. I've been trying. You keep following her. Dumb cunt. Oh. Oh, wow. You got five seconds. Or what? One. Go. Two. Three. Go. Four. Now. What the fuck are you going to do, bitch? Go. What are you gonna Let's do? Go. I used to be you. you. Ian, take her now. Fuck listen, I'm trying to. Over your shoulder and get her out of I'm here. I'm trying. I'm trying. So yeah, that's what happened. Um, all could have been avoided if she would have just simply came out and been like, "Hey guys, I'm trying to shoot a commercial. Can you guys just keep it down, or when are you guys gonna be?" Nobody done? gives a so fuck about you shooting so whatever the fuck you're shooting. Rather than, oh, I'm gonna go tattletale on you, like, nar. Damn, the chick in the video was threatening to fight the gym owner. A man would get arrested if he got in the gym owner's face. It just goes to show these females are more than willing to turn to violence because they've never experienced the real consequences of stepping up to someone. True. Let getting punched in the face or being beat down. And as you can tell by her voice, which is almost as deep as mine, says it all. She's a man with a vagina. This is a PSA to women. All you have to do is to stay thin, not become the she-hulk. Not take gear, which is permanent. With the trans weirdos, you're scaring off a lot of men being muscular. We don't need to wonder if you're a transformer. All you need to do is be fit and feminine. Back to the video, it's hard to know if she left out some things because it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, it I'm seems confused like there was by more it too. to what happened in the buildup, especially since this chick was so quick to get in her face. Let's see what people think. A chick commented, How did you not swing? The self-control is insane. That was bad self-control because she got in the chick's face and threatened right? her. These modern women encourage each other. Like, you're, you're yelling at each other and you're going to each other's faces and then you're going to say, why didn't you, like, you didn't have the, the you have self-control to not swing. You were the aggressor too. Co-signing each other's behavior with compliments. The chick in the video responded, bro, if Red wasn't there, it would have been game over. Damn, this chick so badly wants to be a man. It's all the illegal TRT pumped into her. Imagine dating her and her getting mad. It'll be a really tough situation because she always claims she's a girl and plays the victim card after attacking you. I didn't know I was there. A woman points out, is anyone else still as lost as I am? Was it y'all's music or the gym's music blasting? I assume that was what she was asking about initially. It sounded like the gym music it was like the way the echoing worked. I thought it was the gym music. Really? I don't understand. How can they blast their own music at someone else's gym? Something is not adding up. Yeah, Gyms I'm confused. usually play their own music. Another comment. I wish I had your confidence. This is gold. Why? So you can get your ass beat by the wrong person? This is women. Called roids. It don't make anyone super aggressive. This is not confidence. It's aggression. No, women don't need more of this. They're already unbearable as is. Confident people aren't so quick to start fights. They nope. usually de-escalate. Someone pointed out, they were definitely looking for any excuse to kick you out. He was way too quick with it. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the chick in the video has been hard to deal with at that gym. She's so quick to escalate things that I'm pretty sure other women avoid her because she's like a fuse. And seems like she's looking for any excuse to be some badass. She records herself working out, which makes it tough on the other people who go to that gym. They don't want to be on the internet in the background of her videos. It just seems like as someone who posts on TikTok, she's hoping for shit to start. Yep. These so-called influencers need drama because then they can get some more clout and make videos about it, like they're part of a reality TV show or sitcom. I'm pretty sure because she has an internet following, she feels like she can act any way she wants. Like be a bully to anyone. Like she thinks she's better than everyone just because simps like her roided bubble butt. Couple things you might not want to wear in Japan. Leggings. People tend to consider leggings as something you wear underneath your skirt. Or work It makes out. sense. If you go to a gym, you might see young girls wearing it, but I don't recommend wearing them as an outfit. Same thing with sports bra. Crop top. You will definitely get stared at. I personally have so many experience where- It used to be like that in the US. When you wore shit like that in the US. Then we came inclusionist. People would just come up to me and say, hey, aren't you cold? Doesn't your stomach hurt? Again, you can, but people might judge you. But you can wear short skirt, shorts. People tend to overdress and underdress. So if you're in public with sweats on, without makeup, you might get a look. Follow for more. In the description of her video, she writes, what not to wear in Japan? 
Disclaimer, I believe in wear whatever you want, but if you're thinking about living there or just want to respect the culture, this might be helpful. You can tell she's pissed because she quoted respect the culture. All right. And these feminists always advocate dressing like a 304 are the first to complain men are staring at them. Like they expect men not to look when 90% of their bust is showing. Same crowd that wants men to respect their intellect or more like lack of, wants to dress like a streetwalker. Tokyo Metropolis is one of the largest cities on earth with 40 million people. That's more than the whole population of California, or Canada, or the whole UK and it runs efficiently, is clean, and has lower crime than most rich parts of America. You know why? Because Japan is one of the most based societies out there, as there's no women in charge of anything important. Gyms in America and the West should have a dress code as well because so many thoughts go there wearing basically sports lingerie. Pretty they much. props to them for staring at her till she got the hint. I swear the thoughts think they're superheroes in these thirst trap outfits. Right. Modern women love Japanese culture, like sushi and anything else that benefits them until they find out it's a patriarchal society that doesn't put up with their feminism. People True. like Japan because there is order, but the secret is that order is kept because the women are kept in check. People think they like America or the UK or Paris until they get there and the streets are full of degeneracy and women who think they're idols. Let's read the comments. A chick who lived in Japan comments, You can add singlets of anything with thin straps to this list, unless wearing a shirt under. Can confirm I got all the stairs when wearing these. Yeah, it's called the gym, not the club. You go there to work out, not collect dollars from a strip pole. And if you don't like it, you can leave. The Japanese people don't need 304s in their country. They'll do just fine with Japanese chicks dressing like schoolgirls. Another bird brain comments, that's what they are used to, but they can't tell people what and what not to wear. Yes, they can because <laughs> it's, it's their, their gym country. and their country. They own that island. No amount of entitlement from feminists are going to change that. These chicks are so used to going to simp's own houses in America and bossing them around. That's how low the West society standards have become. Yep. 60 years ago, these thoughts will be called HOES to their face and banished from society. Even the churches will tell them to get lost. Another comment. I went to Japan when I was 12 and I wore leggings on a daily basis. I definitely got stares and I had no idea they weren't something to wear casual. That's even the worst part of this thought culture. Yep. It's the little girls who dress inappropriately in clothing that people- It blows my mind that little girls are dressing in leggings. It doesn't even make sense. Beatles would like. Again, 60 years ago, little girls used to wear dresses to their ankles. The staring Japanese probably all said to themselves, there goes the future American HOE. Mm -hmm. You know what I don't understand? Mean girls in the gym. Why is that still a thing? I have been working out and in the gym for years now. And one thing that has never changed is the fact that there is mean girls that exist at the gym. As someone who has, who once I was overweight, I lost a bunch of weight and then I was like what you would call skinny fat and then I went through like a bulking phase. I got pretty muscular, um, gained a lot of weight again. I've just been through all these phases, right? And women treat me differently based on which phase I'm currently in. For example, the other day, so I'm currently going through a cutting phase and I'm losing weight so I'm starting to feel more confident. Um, so the other day I took my sweatshirt off and I was in the gym. The girls that previously were giving me dirty looks were always wearing a sweatshirt and leggings and being completely covered up while they're over there in their little short shorts and sports bras. The ones that were giving me dirty looks then looked at me as they were like, oh. Like it almost like clicked in their head like, oh, she she actually knows what she's doing. She does work out. That doesn't sit right with me. It wasn't the first time that that's happened. And I know men treat you differently too, based on whatever phase you're going through. But that's a whole different story in itself. We don't, we're not talking about men right now. We're talking about women. So, you know, and I always see women that are always like, oh, like, I love seeing other women like doing their thing. No, you don't. No, they you don't. don't. No, you don't. They don't. Because at the gym, you're a completely different person. And I see this all the time. It happens daily. It might not happen with me, but I see it happening with other girls. And I just want to know why. I could never, I will never be a mean girl at the gym. I will never. You are creating an environment that is toxic. And you are trying to scare these women away from Pretty trying much. to chase their goals. We're all in the gym to get better. But yet you want to sit here and judge them for the way that they look when they're trying to change the way that they look. And that's something I don't understand. That's something I will never understand. And we just need to get rid of mean girls at gyms. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Is that a ring on her finger? <laughs> 
as in some clueless guy saw the bull ring on her nose and still gave her the commitment. Yep. For those who don't know what Mean Girls is, Mean Girls implies a click-like mentality that you'd see in high school. There's even a movie about it called, you guessed it, Mean Girls, where it's the hottest group of chicks acting pretty and mean towards other girls who didn't win the looks lottery. I swear that movie made so many women more entitled and act exactly that way because they thought that's how you be the queen bee. That's how you be the boss bee. It's preview of who they really are. They truly are bad people and simps make them worse because they validate the entitlement and look past the bad behavior. That they do. They them like bad parents try to make a kid stop crying by buying candy at the store. Mean Girls' behavior is not exclusive to any particular setting or end just because they step foot in a gym. That's why the curves all female gym closed, because the ugly feminists would hate on the women who looked good. And the hot women, well, didn't get any positive attention from an all-female gym, so they nope. went to a regular gym to thirst trap men. <laughs> Judgmental looks from other women is just part of their passive-aggressive behavior that men have to deal with a majority of the time. This chick is lucky she only has to deal with these thoughts at the gym. But then again, if she truly was focused on her personal fitness journeys, why does she care if other chicks are staring at her? I agree. I thought she was strong and independent. Hear her roar, women, and run this world Beyonce queen. I think part of this is so she can make a video about it and be the victim. Yep. Let's see the comments. But how can you really know what another person is thinking? They may be having a bad day or having a wedgie that is annoying them. We shouldn't assume. Exactly and point taken. How does she know they're mean mugging her and not just smelling a fart? These center of attention type chicks will use that micro expression you make and convince themselves that that millisecond was what you thought the whole time. They'll think you noticing your surroundings and looking at them for a second is you checking them out or staring at them. Another commenter said, I didn't even know this was a thing. I'm so unaware of my surroundings when I work out. Headphones in deep. Yep. And the woman in the video responded, should be. Girl, I be trying, but some of these women, they be trying to make it known they're staring at me. Like you good babe. Yep, these modern women today need drama. So much that they'll start shit unconsciously. So a chick looks at her for a sec with the wrong expression on accident and then gives her the stink eye back or purposefully gives her a bad look. Then all of a sudden, the other chick thinks she was a mean girl to them and gives her the mean girl back and it becomes a thought petty feedback loop. Someone claims, I only come across mean girls in corporate gyms. Bodybuilding gyms, they usually get shut down pretty quick and never come back, haha. -ha. I can see this because I go to a corporate gym. I go to 24-hour fitness. Uh, quite a bit of people, quite a bit of gym thoughts there. That's good to know that that hardcore training gyms don't put up with that BS because it's usually owned by a down-to-earth gym owner and not some bullshit woke corporate structure that's worried about modern women's opinions and banks off of women thirst trapping men. So the city... I do 24-hour fitness is convenient. I pay, what, like 240 for the year, which is actually pretty cheap. And then, you know, it's very close to home, convenient, pools, everything. Let's continue going to that gym. Another chick comments, I have been working out in the gym for the past 10 years almost. Not once I had this problem. If you respect, you get respected. So this is insane to me. Yeah, I suspected that she's not telling the whole story, or she's not aware of her own actions. There's some super jack dudes that you can't help but notice and you wonder what they're on. And you accidentally stare too long because you're just trying to figure out how the hell did they become an action hero. And they're not running to TikTok complaining about being stared at. They know they're going to get looks, all roided out. So there you go. Even women admit they hate other women at the gyms. As always, I wish you tremendous success. That's some damn good chow. Shout outs to Man Guide. Women, stop fighting each other. Stop fighting everything. Everything is a problem with you guys. Men looking at you, women looking at you, men complimenting you, women complimenting you. It doesn't even, it, the, the list is endless. Please like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.